with enteric coding. And when I coded them, the enteric coding safely allowed the patches to be released from the capsules individually. And this is another picture of an uncoded mucoadhesive patch. You can't really see here, but they're actually adhering to one another and adhering to the inner walls of the capsules, which is not what we want to see. I tested different, I tested 5% and 12.5% in terracoding, which are the two extremes of the concentrations, and found out that the 5% in terracoded patches delay the drug release for the first 10 minutes, which allows the patches to be released from the capsule separately, as we saw from the picture in the previous slide. And we want to skip to two hours right here. This is the this middle gray bar is the 5%. You can see that you know the, the patches are coated with 5% enteric coating. It's allowing the, the patches to release about the same amount of drug as the uncoated patches. Whereas the 12.5%, which is a very strong concentration, is not even allowing the patches to release half of the drug. This graph further supports the, the previous graph in that where that the 5% enteric coated solution, I mean, or concentration, is the most optimal concentration to coat the patches with because the uncoated patches and the coated patch, or the 5% coated patches, release about 40% of the drug, whereas the 12.5% only releases 20%. This is a clip of the capsules releasing the enteric coated patches this time. Separately, this is exactly what we want to see. <laughs> this time, I put the micro adhesive pouches in the capsules themselves and repeated the process that I did, did with the capsules. So I put the coated micro adhesive pouches in the capsules and placed them in pH 2.5 for one hour, and for the first hour. You can see, we can see that there is no drug being released, which is good. Then it was tra later transferred into pH 6.5. And for the first 15 minutes, the drug, the, the capsule is being dissolved. So that's why there is no drug, drug being released. But after you know, about 15 minutes, there is, there is drug being released. What is very interesting about this graph is that, you, is that the capsules that included the enteric coated pouches in them actually released more drug than the uncoated pouches. This is because, as, as, you saw, as you guys saw from the clips, the enteric coated pouches, they are coming out of the capsules individually, therefore more surface area to release all the drugs. However, when the pouches are uncoated, as they are being released, they adhere to one another, thereby preventing or minimizing the surface area where the drug can be released. So it's actually better if you coat the patches also with enteric coating. The recipe to, well this is like a sum up, summary of my PowerPoint, the recipe to make an ideal carrier system for proteins. We first need to coat the capsules with 10% enteric coating to maintain integrity in pH and pH 2.5 for one hour, then allow it to dissolve relatively fast once it is transferred into pH 6.5. Then we need to coat the patches with 5% enteric coating to allow the patches to be, to be released from the capsules individually and also increase the drug being released after some time. For future works, I will need to test in vitro experiments with the capsules. I was gonna put a picture of a pig intestine here because I'm gonna use a pig intestine, but my mom's like, no. <laughs> and I will need to perform this capsule dissolution experiments with more patches inside of the capsule. I would like to thank Vivek Gupta, my mentor, Samir, Samir Mitra Gotri, who is my PI, and Erin Alzamo for making those awesome clips for me, Tyler and Erica from Eureka, and thank you. <laughs>